another video because it's a schedule that I want to try and keep to, which I've not been very good at. So, gonna do this one. It's uh, a bookshelf tour, specifically my to read shelf. I've done one of these not that long ago, but I thought I've bought more books, might as well talk about them. This is the book that I'm reading at the moment. It's called The Mechanical by Ian Tregillis, and the back of the book says, My name is Jax. That is the name granted to me by my human masters. I am a slave, but I shall be free. It's just a really, really interesting book. I I've not finished it yet, I'm barely halfway through. No, I don't think I'm even halfway through. I'm very, very... Yeah, I'm, I'm very keen on this. I picked this one up a while back because on the back it obviously says my name is Jax and I'm a slave. My girlfriend's friend, her dog is called Jax, spelt the same way and so we thought that was very funny and it was looking like an interesting book and so I picked it up. Now on to the shelf itself. The first book on the shelf, the next one that I'm going to actually read after the mechanical, is The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Cole, who uh, I listen to a lot on one of the writing podcasts I listen to, Writing Excuses. Very, very good. Check it out. You, yeah, you probably all enjoy it. It's uh, one that they've talked a lot about in there, and um, so I'm going to read it. I've, I've been looking forward to it for a long time. Next up is 84K by Claire North, which uh, I've, I've liked a lot of her books. Claire North is one of my sort of usual authors that I, I pick up a lot of her books, um, especially after having read some of the stuff under her other pseudonyms. Star Wars Lords of the Sith by Paul F. Kemp is uh, the next one, and um, it's it's been a while since I got it, but I really, really uh, have enjoyed Star Wars books a lot. I did a review last year of a Star Wars book uh, which was Dark Disciple and I really enjoyed it and just generally this is whole great sort of canon of Star Wars books and this one looks interesting. Next up is the third Trials of Apollo book, The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan and um, well, I've, I've waited too long to get this one, and now I've ended up with a paperback! I normally read them in hardcover! I have always really liked Rick's books. There's, I, I, since, ever since I was part of the target market for them, so this is no surprise that I've got this. Next up is the third book in the Millennium's Rule trilogy, which is The Successor's Promise by Trudy Canavan. And, um, yeah, I've read the other ones of these. I've enjoyed some of Trudy Canavan's work. Some of it's fallen a bit flat on me, but in general, yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with the way certainly this trilogy has worked out. It's been pretty interesting, so pretty keen to check out it when I get round to it in the pile. Shelf. I mean, it's a Sanderson book, so you've probably seen it on my shelf. Skyward by Brando Sanderson. I've, I've He's been one of my favourite authors for like the last several years. Why wouldn't I have this on my shelf? I do tend to get all of his stuff in paperback, so that's good. I'm really interested to get to this one. It's completely separated from all of the rest of his work, so it's going to be interesting to see what he does with it. Well, I had to keep myself from buying this for quite some time, and well, eventually I gave in, and I have it now. Circe by Madeline Miller. I've read one of her books and I've reviewed it, The Song of Achilles, a while back. And, well, it's got this one. It's separate but also related because it's another Greek myth book. But I, I'm very keen on it. I really enjoyed the other book and hopefully this one lives up. I'm pretty sure it will because it does have some pretty good stuff to say. The Man Born to be King by Dorothy L. Sayer is a classic book, and I've had this one on loan from my uncle for a while. I think it's my grandmother's copy, and I've been meaning to just get to it for quite some time, but uh, just 
it always feels a bit wrong to start one, which is like it, it just it feels precious. That was the first layer of the shelf, and now the second layer starts with the Rivers of London, which I have read before. I think I've done a review of it before. I'm going to reread it because I want to read some of the other books and. Well, to do that I need to have read this one again, and then buy the other books, so that's probably gonna be on its way as well. Theatre of the Gods by M. Sedane is one that I've kind of been pushing back for a while. It looks really interesting, and uh, the, 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 the inscription at the top here says, A mad bastard of a book. Uh, I've been kind of like, thinking I would like to read this one, and then uh, I'm just gonna come back to it at some point. Another Star Wars book, Bloodline by Claudia Gray, which sort of bridges the gap between episode 6 and episode 7, uh, explaining some of the stuff to do with Ben Solo, Kylo Ren, and uh, yes, I, I've been pushing this back a while as well, but I, I'm very keen to get to it as well. Iron Council by China Meevil is the third in a loose trilogy that has again been push back and push back and push back, and I will get to it eventually, it's just gonna take a while. Lovecraft Country by Matt Roth is one that's also been just pushed back and pushed back, but I should probably move it forward because I've heard so much good about this damn book, and I just haven't gotten around to it yet, and I keep pushing it back and back and back, and... <clears throat> this is a signed copy of Good Cop, Bad Cop by Jim Alexander, which I think I've got some of in the original graphic novel form, but he turned it into a book, and it looks good. But, as I said, signed copy. And it's just not as much of a priority as some of the other ones that have been in this shelf already, but it is good from what I've heard. This one was further up the list and has since moved further down. It's Fellowship of Ink by Paul Maggers, and um, the uh, problem with it that I've got is that it's part of a loose series again, and it's like number seven. I want to read the other ones first before I get to this one. I managed to pick this one up secondhand a while back, The Chronicles of Tom's Covenant the Unbeliever by Stephen Donaldson. This is an omnibus edition, and, uh, well, yeah, it's a big book. And, um, my dad goes on and on about how good it is, and I've been meaning to, to read it for a while, so I'm gonna. And now we're done with the main shelf. And now we're done with the main shelf, I've got a bunch of books that are on top here that are kind of out of the order, they're lower priority than the ones on the shelf. And I will get to them at some point, but for now they're gonna sort of hang around. And this video is long enough, so I'm gonna just sort of skip over them. Let me know what your to read shelf looks like. I would really love to know, so let me know down there. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails down below to see other videos by me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!